Everybody, how you doing? Arctic Guild coming back at you with some more augmenting. Uh, today I will be working on, instead of like looking down at this mic, I should just like put it in front of me. Um, today we'll be working on my armor pieces. Uh, if you were with me yesterday on my other video, um, we did do a five augment build for my weapon. We're going to be doing a four augment uh, build for my arms, a little more of a budget build. That way... I'm not dropping like 20 mil into this piece. Anyway, let's get into it. All right, so, hang on here, adjusting some mics. Oh gosh, all right. Anyway, so what I'm gonna be working with here is my, let's see here, it's gonna be my back piece here. Uh, the first complication we're going to need to uh, get over is the fact that I need to upslot this. And then I'm going to do a similar build to these two, but I'm not going to be grabbing uh, Noble Casting or Frog Fever or Mastery. I'm actually going to grab Casting 3, my Diego Soul still, but I'm going to put in Noble Stamina and I'm going to put in Stamina 3. Now, yesterday before I got offline, I was, uh, I was checking the markets, and this is something you guys can do too. Um, and I'll teach you how to use this Vizia phone to track down a couple items you need. So right here, I'm just typing in the Diebo Soul. And now all I'm going to do is search this, search the soul, confirm that. But here, we're going to want to go to units. Then we're going to want to go down to number of augments we want at least four augments because that's what we're going to be working with when we finally do this build oh my god and they've gone way up in price i should have bought the ones last night for like a hundred thousand that stinks i wonder if i can build me let's see let's see how cheap a three augment one is oh my god oh my god they're so cheap What is that? That's 90,000. Here, let's, uh, I'm going to see if I can build me a bunch of pieces. That way, I don't need to buy 100 and, what is that? That would be 1,500,000 in just fodder. I'll just build my own fodder here. I don't have enough money. Oh, <laughs> It would probably help if I pulled some money out of the bank. So I think I'm going to need... I'm just going to use three mil to do this. But... Good thing my item sold last night. This is going to help my sale, or my uh, my job on this. Note to self, if you see something for a stupid low price, buy it, buy it at that time. At the, Oops. I didn't buy it last night because I wanted to show you guys my process that I use to track down some of my augments when I don't have them. Um, and this is actually what I was doing last night to check prices. You know what I should see? I should see how much five augments are going for. Oh my god, it's not any better. <laughs> so we're going to build our own fodder. So you guys get to see exactly what uh, some of us are doing to get to these other builds. All right, and I gotta make sure I have EX cubes because we're gonna need more augment aids. EX cubes, okay, I got 54. But yeah, make sure you buy those when they seem like a low price or you're going to be in a little pickle like me. I could have spent maybe 300000 Now I'm going to have to spend a little bit to just build everything from scratch. Oh, that was junk. Right. I was hoping to get a little, a couple more 10 stars out of that, but that's fine. And then, um, do I have my augment aids on me? Not on me, but do I... No, that's right. We spent them all yesterday doing the uh, weapon, which if you guys didn't see the weapon we did, uh, we actually built this bad boy yesterday. I think it came out great. I really like it. I actually spent maybe three mil plus 35-ing it yesterday. 
So opening a cube shot. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to spend so much just to upslot this. Something tells me I'm going to fail a few of these, and then I'm going to be very upset. There's two. But we need at least three armor pieces, which means I needed to buy three uh, three slots. And then I'm going to have to upslot all of them. So let's start with this one. Here's the Diego Soul, another Diego Soul, another Diego Soul. Then we go right back down here. That's 100%. That's 100%. That's 80%. Where's that going to be? 50. I don't like that. Odd. Let's see if adding another one of those souls change that percentage. No, it doesn't. So we'll see how much money I just wasted <laughs> buying fodder because I may just still go drop the 1.5 mil instead of doing it myself. <laughs> but we do need a couple other pieces here. Alright. Yeah. We're going to need that. No, it's not that we need that. We actually need this. And then we're going to have to select that so we have more options to pick from. And then another Diego Soul. And another Diego Soul. All right, that's fine. So that comes up 100%, 100%, 80%, and then that at 100%. Let's start the effects. Augmentate 30%. All right, so there's one piece of armor right there. So I just saved myself uh, 500,000 by just building my own piece. Bad, bad news is that's just one piece of three. So we're going to do this again. We're going to use not that, not that. We'll do it with, oh, there's my back piece. I, I had a dream that I sold that last night. All right, so we'll pick that again. We'll pick that. And we don't have enough 100 percenters in here. So instead of that, or instead of my two, let's pick up Radiant Ward. I may have to look through my boxes. Yeah, I'm going to have to look through my boxes. Okay, so let's open up the storage. And then I highly recommend when you guys, when you ever finally do start doing your own augmenting, Get your own box just for augmenting purposes. This is going to make life so much easier later on. Yeah, that's a good piece right there. Oh, wait, that's part of my... That's fine. I don't really care for the Luther piece. And then Anga Soul has gone down in value, so I don't really care about that. Do I want to throw away one of my frog beavers? Frog Fever is actually a single augment that can bounce off itself. So you only ever need one of these, and it'll stay at 100% through the entire augmenting process unless you're upslotting. So then you can just upslot it very easily just by using augment aids. Luther Soul. Let's see what kind of four pieces I have, because I save a lot of my four augment. That's Garion Soul. I don't want to lose that. There we go. There's a piece of fodder. Vinculum. That's right. I don't want to use Vinculum. All right. So let's try to do this again. So we're working on a Diego Soul. And we're going to need another Diego Soul. Then we're, we're going to want to pick another item just for uh, select selective purposes. Yeah, that's fine. So let's see. Here's 100, 100, 100. Okay, I need one more Diablo Soul in that mixture. There we go. So now we got 80 on Diablo Soul, another Might, Impact, Wildfire. So we go down to 70% on all that. Let's use my Augment 8 again. Let's see if I succeed. I did. Fantastic. So now I've saved a million at least. Buying a single piece for 500,000 doesn't sound too bad. But we're going to try and build one more piece. Let's see how many more Diablo Souls do I have. Looks like I only bought one. Okay, that's fine. No. Okay, so I need two more. So we're going to go back to the marketplace. We're going to track down two more Diego pieces. We'll see if we can slap it together. 
and then we'll finish up this augmenting. Um, I need more EX cubes. I'm gonna give it my best shot. Man, I am doing so much augmenting. I've blown through maybe 200 and something EX cubes already. So we're gonna have to just use my bouncer cubes and some of my force cubes to get this done. So that'll give us roughly 80. Yeah, that's fine, I don't mind. We're coming back up here. We're going to buy a couple more of those Augment 30s. Welcome. I think if I fail on an upslot, I'm just going to go buy the piece. Yeah, I'm going to need... Let's go with four. Because I'll use them at some point. And back to this Visiphone. Oh gosh, I'm getting turned around. I apologize. So, number of augments, we want it on three, that way we can be cheapy. Oh my gosh, the price is going up. Somebody's buying them! I wonder who it could be. It's probably me. I'm buying myself out and increasing the price. That's fine. Okay. So, <laughs> at this point, I'm just looking at it, I'm like weighing the value. Is it really worth it that now? Probably not. That just means I save all the remaining fodder that ever drops. I normally do. Um, finding four augment and five augments off of that enemy is very rare. So here's a Diego soul. We're going to need one more Diego. Another Diego. So there's two. It looks like we actually have... No, we actually need a piece of fodder in there. That's fine. That's a piece of fodder we can use. So we're going to pick up the toughness, both the wards, and then we want the Diego Soul in there. We're going to success booster it again. If I fail, I'm buying a piece. Nope. Fantastic. So we just saved, let's see, it costed us 150 plus the augments, so 200. Roughly each each one of those pieces just costed us maybe 200,000, 300,000, uh, while four augments are going for half, half a mil. So we saved about 800,000. All right, so now the other piece. We actually need to do a proper upslotting on my back piece here. So here's the back we're working on. I don't really, I need to make sure I grab the right piece of fodder. There we go. And I might actually need another piece of fodder here. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So actually what we're going to be doing here is we're not really looking for anything in specific. And yesterday, if you were watching me do the the weapon, you'll notice the percentages are actually higher here. Um, we can actually do an upslotting guaranteed on a 30%. Now, when you're doing uh, a 5 augment upslot, you could use a 40% for guaranteed. And that should get you, actually no, that should get you to 95% across the board on using a 40 percenter. I may need to go back and watch my own video. Anyway, so here's our upslot. Here's what we got. This is what I we needed for the upslotting. Now, this is the piece we're going to end on. So what we need to pick now is I need a minimum three souls. So here's the pieces we just built. And then I went ahead and bought two items off the market yesterday that had casting three and stamina three because that's what I wanted. Oh, also... If you want a really decent augment to always be on your armor, here's 100% right here. 
I'm going to HP and PP. So coming back, back to my back piece. So here's a soul. Here's my other soul. There's the last soul. And so I went and bought stamina and uh, casting three because that's what I wanted to use for this piece. Um, so there's all four selected armor pieces. Notice the cost of Mazetta is up to 900,000 when you select all four. There are some ways you can weasel around this. Obviously, you can apply the stamina three and casting three to like your other armor pieces and save that half a mil. I just don't even want to bother with it. We're going to fix HP and PP. Casting three. We're picking up stamina three. We've got noble stamina here. And then my Diego Souls right here at 80%. And just like last time, I'm going to show you guys what the upslot looks like. And that's what will happen if we upslot. Now, if this, if this casting three and standing three and the Diego soul were at least 50, 58%, I would, might actually go buy a 100% and give it a shot, but I'm not going to try. I don't even want to think about that. I want to be happy with my armor piece and not angry that I spent so much money. So here we go. All done. There's our piece. Has exactly what I wanted. I'm kind of building towards health now in this end game. Um, just because mainly we do so much damage already that I, my main issue is actually survival. So I'm going a little more towards the survival route on most of my gear pieces now. But if you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment in the video down below. Uh, I will be posting this in YouTube so you guys can take a look at it. And I will see you guys next time.